Hello everybody, I'm Carnes Turner Jr. And the poem that I'm going to be doing today is entitled Framework. Um, basically what this poem is about is my mother uh, who passed away about five months ago. Uh, my mother was actually a painter growing up. She was a very, very good painter. And um, I felt that I needed to write a poem dedicated to her to kind of to kind of tribute her life and kind of tribute something that she really loved doing. So um, um, I thought of this concept and I wrote this as a tribute to my mother. I couldn't picture my life without you when I started to create my life's framework. It never dawned on me as a painter that I would not be foreshadowing our future but instead creating our memories. But evidently your life had Alzheimer's because it didn't seem to remember when I told it that you and me were a package deal and now I'm damaged goods. My sanity is on the clearance rack. Hoping somebody will find the value in me enough to pick me up after life gave my joy a price cut when it decided to market you and me as batteries sold separately and I cannot operate without you charging me. Mama, this was not the picture that I had in mind. When I sat down on the pedestal, you encouraged me not to be too afraid to stand on. When you told me that my life was a paintbrush and my imagination was poster paper. Paint your dreams passionately. The world is your canvas, but I lost my enthusiasm and my stroke when you croaked. Because I always imagined pictures with you in it. And it's like no matter what I paint in your place, this picture does not look finished. It's like my imagination ran out of paint when I was brushing your smile. Reminiscent of an upside down rainbow because after every storm in my life You always came to show me that God promised never to flood me with more than I can bear So why am I drowning in tears watching the paint bleed off his face? Why do I feel like I'm looking in the mirror walking around looking at the emptiness in my reflection walking around with a false blush a man akin to being dolled up like mascara runs in my bloodline now sometimes I wonder whether I'm a painter or just a makeup artist. Wondering if my work is gonna be a process of accenting my future without you, mama, or just a project of covering up my past hurt. But I'm praying that God fills your voice in my Kodak moments because I'm getting by Polaroid, losing my patience, waiting for the picture that God's taken to develop when I could have already had the picture printed and framed. Mama, to be honest, this picture just does not look the same without you. You were my primary color. A painting that once blue with your influence is now just a yellow when red from my eyes. And I feel like the colors of my love became illiterate when you died and now, I can't help but wonder that maybe God took you out of my picture to help me realize that I can no longer be a secondary color in my own work of art. Because no matter how many accolades the pictures I've painted have gotten, how can the fruit of my spirit create the proper pool if my fruit of my spirit is a green orange that's rotten at the very core of the bristles though. But even that mama doesn't take away from the fact that I miss you though. So in the meantime, I'll paint imaginary mistletoes over your imaginary tombstone and let my kiss be the final signature of every picture as they rest in peace. And that although you and me, mama, will never share the same space in the picture again, I will always take pride in being the product of your framework. Rest in peace, mama.